All right, so welcome to us at 5.5. We're recording, so quiet, please. Let your parents hear. And um, this lesson is a short lesson. There's not a lot of slides in it. It won't take long for you to understand it. It's very straightforward. What we're going to do is we're going to relate fractional parts of different wholes and sets. Now, this is a teacher title. It's not a student title. So I won't, don't want you to worry about it. What we have learned is this. This is what our strategy or for our, our expectation is for you. You will have to learn that for two holes of different sizes, the same fraction of the hole is different for each hole. And you're going, what does that mean? Well, you know, we'll get to it in a minute. So let's start off with the first example. Which of the following do you think will result in a greater amount, Abby? Um. Which of these two? When you're done, when you take two-thirds of 15 or one-half of 20, which one do you think is going to be greater? Okay, do so you think two-thirds of 15? Okay, Leon? They're both equal. He says they're equal. Well, let's go on and find out. First thing we do is we need to have spaces for our tiles, right? So now, how do I find two-thirds of 15? Put that back, please. Get sit down. We have to figure out what two thirds of fifteen is. I think I'm going to do it this week. Make sure we get done everything, okay? So I'll start with happy faces. I have fifteen to put in these three groups, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now we need to count how many of these groups, okay? I count two of these groups. So I grab my magic marker. I need to know how many is in two of these groups. And that means that I've got what? One, two, three, four, five. Exactly. So in this group, two thirds of 15 is 10. Now I'm going to do this in the break here. And now I'll use stars for the next one. I have to have one half of 20. Well, most of you remember you need to do this with a chart. What is half of 20, bro? Yeah. But if you did, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So I split up the twenty into two equal groups, and I'm counting how many groups, Kate? One group right here. And how many are in one group? We know that is ten. So Leon, you were correct. So we know that two thirds of fifteen and one half of twenty are in fact the same thing. So you have to look very carefully at the numbers to try to figure out which things are greater. You turn the page, you'll see that I've actually did it flowers. Okay? How did you do it then? Pardon me? Oh. Because this is why I want to answer. Why, if the fractions are different and the whole numbers, 15 and 20, are different, how can it come out that they're the same? Okay. Because 20, you have to have at but 15, you need more fabric, so it's 10. Exactly. Okay? What we're talking about here is the groups are different sizes, but for this group here, even though there's only two in this group, sorry, two, two um, spaces, you're putting half in the first space, half in the other. All right? So 20 divided into two spaces gives you 10 in each group. But on the previous one over here on the left, you have two-thirds of 15. Even though the 15 is a smaller number, we are taking a larger chunk out of it, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We're taking two of the groups of three here, whereas over on the 10, on the one half of 20, we took one of the two groups. So we're actually shifting the amount we're counting, even though the number here is smaller, we're counting a larger part of it. All right, moving on to the next thing. So the size of the fraction and the size of the set both determine how much you're going to have, right? you see that? They both play a role. So, which one do you think is greater now? Three quarters of 16 or three quarters of 20? Which one do you think? Caitlin? Um, three quarters of 20. Okay, three quarters of 20. So this is her guess right here. Any reason for that guess? Or is it just a, a feeling you have? Oh, good. She says this is 12. You have a feeling this one's larger. Okay, now the feeling this one's larger is a nice estimate, but we have to have some proof, don't we? So let's move forward with some proof. How many groups do I need on the right-hand side of the, over on the three or four? Four groups, and how many over there? So, by the name, by the name. 
four groups each, right? How many am I going to put in here? 16. 16. So I'm going to grab my magic pen here. Uh, I guess we'll use happy faces. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. How many groups am I counting? Three. Three. So I'm going to have to count three of these groups. So here's my three groups right there. So this is equal to 12. Now let's go over here to the other one. Grab my happy faces again. I gotta put 20 in this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. How many groups am I counting in this one? Three. Three. So how many is that? Fifteen. What do you want to say, Abby? There you go. Did you hear what she said? Yes. That's very important. We're counting the same number of groups. This is three groups out of four, right? This is also three groups out of four. But that's not a number. Yeah, I lost my. This can be a second here. I'll pause our recording and get to you. Okay, now we had a battery went dead on the mic, so now we're back. We were talking about why this group over here, when we count three out of four, on the left group and three out of four on the right group, why it turns out that if we're counting the same number of groups, why are the amounts different? And it came down to what what did she say to Kayla? It's because of what? There's more in one group. There's more in one group. And they have the same amount of groups but a lower number splitting in. Okay, so what you're saying is that this one over here is a larger number. So if you're counting three out of four groups, but you put more in, you're going to have more, aren't you? Yeah. If you're over on the other group over here, the 16, you have three out of four, but you're only putting in 16 on this side. So if you have the same fractions, the larger number you put in is going to give you a larger amount, isn't it? So you turn the page, you can see that I've got 12 and 15, we know that one. So here's the lesson or the, the thing you have to understand. The fraction of a larger number is always larger than the same fraction of a smaller number. So for example, if I had, I'm going to grab a, a different color here. If I had um, 3 sevenths of 60 and 3 sevenths of 90, okay, now it's the same fraction, 3 sevenths. You don't have to know the answer, do you? But can you tell me which one is going to be more? Uh, Meg. Exactly. This one's going to be more. I'm still counting three groups out of seven, but in this case I'm putting in 90, and over here I'm only putting in 60. So even though I'm counting the same number of groups, three and three here, because there's more in the 90 group, that means this one over here on the right, this group right here, is going to have more in it. Do you understand? Yes. Oh, good, good, good. Next one. Which one is larger? One quarter of 24 or one quarter of 16? Ah, let me see here. Sydney. That one? You're, she's pointing to this one. Why, Sydney? Because the one Okay, so the key to understand here is that you have to have the same fractions, don't you? We're both counting one group out of four in both cases, aren't we? So this only works if you have the same fraction. And now you look at the number which is bigger, and of course this one has 24. That would mean that this one on the left, the 24 group, is going to be larger. So far so good? Yeah. All right. We knew that was right. Remember I told you the short one? But this time it's only got two questions. So it's assignment time. We will stop this and give you a chance to get busy on this.